Good morning. My name is Jack Gretchen from the Pall Mall Gazette newspaper. We're here today with Anola Holmes, who is someone who looks for missing persons. She is the sister of Sherlock Holmes and his brother Mycroft. We wanted to talk with Anola today about the case she solved of the missing Dr. Watson here on our own streets of London. Good morning, Anola. Good morning, Jack. I'm happy to be with you. Anola, let's get right to the question everybody wants to know. When did you first notice that Dr. Watson was missing? Well, I remember it was a sunny day and I was in my lodging. My landlady came to deliver my newspapers. I found out like everybody else in London that day. I saw the headlines in the Daily Telegraph. It said, Sherlock Holmes associate Dr. James Watson was missing. I am very fond of Dr. Watson. I just had to find him. We know that Mrs. Kippersall is the owner of Petalote's shop. This is where she helped you pick items to help aid your disguise. She was quite helpful then. What did you think about Mrs. Kippersall when her attitude about you changed? She kicked you out of her shop when you returned asking a lot of questions. I was quite surprised. I only went to ask Mr. Kipp Mrs. Kippersall if she had ever had the occasion to pr provide false fingers, ears, or a nose to someone who might have lost their own. Mrs. Kippersall was shocked, and instead of saying no, she said, what she done now? It was after that she did not answer any more, of, of, any more questions of mine. I knew she did not answer any more questions of mine. I knew there was more to Mrs. Kippersall than who she pretended to be. Well, let's get back to the bizarre bouquet that was sent to Mrs. Watson. You were the only one who thinks it was bizarre. What about it made it so interesting to you? Well, I knew the delivery boy was one who was missing a nose. The bouquet itself, well, it was made of bindweed and hawthorn that were entangled together with each other. This told me that the person who sent them had somewhat a twisted mind. The bouquet also had a vegetable, asparagus, in it. I did not know what the significance of this was at the time. The person who sent this bouquet was definitely involved in Dr. Watson's disappearance. The night you returned to Mrs. Kippersalt's shop to spy on her after she kicked you out, you overheard her talking to her sister, Flora. No one knew she was hiding a sister. It was that conversation you overheard her sister claim that Flora had killed before. At that time, what were you thinking? I was thinking it could be Dr. Watson she killed, since Flora was missing her nose. This meant she had something to do with Dr. Watson's disappearance. It turns out it wasn't Dr. Watson she killed after all. It was Mr. Kipper, Mr. Kippersall. Asparagus in the bouquet meant death. A spear, a Gus, meant she killed Augustus Kippersall. Why then, after that night, did you communicate with your brother Sherlock in our Pall Mall Gazette paper? I realized that night Flora killed Mr. Kippersall and forged her co commitment papers to, to the insane asylum. Doc with his name and not hers. She then kidnapped Dr. Watson and had him take the place of Mr. Kippersall in the asylum. I communicated to my brother exactly where he needed to go. I told him to go to Colony, Colony Hatch Asylum and ask for Mr. Kippersall. I, of course, did all this in code so I didn't tip the killer off. There he found Dr. Watson. However, it wasn't Sherlock who went to Col Colony Hatch. It was my older brother, Mycroft. We are just about done, you know, but one last question. When you read the note from your brothers Mycroft and Sherlock in the Gazette paper, 
thanking me for finding Dr. Watson. How did you feel? When I saw the note in the personal advertisement from my brothers, I felt very gratified. I definitely smiled a lot and was happy they had to thank me for solving the case. Even though they don't want me living this life, I proved them that I am very good at what I do. I can take care of myself. They can't argue that. Well, we were out of time today. Thank you for being here with us, Enola. Thank you, Jack, for inviting me. And that's all here. I'm Jack Gertrude with the Paul Gazette. Have a good day.